Okay, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes. Good. All right. Okay, so we're starting with math today. All right. And uh, so we're starting from the beginning. So we're looking at the first point of contact with math. It's your place value. Understanding how numbers are being number and their value on the place value table. All right. So here, you can see here, place value is a value assigned to each digit in a number, okay, based on its position. So every number has its position on the place value table, all right, within a number. So it determines the significance or weight of each digit and helps everyone in understanding, because this is the basics of math. math. You need to know uh, what a number is. What is the weight of a number among a particular given number? Okay, the relative value of digits within a number, as it also allows us to express numbers in structured and organized manner. All right, so the place value has a chart, which is a visual representation that shows the different places, place value, and their corresponding position within a number. So we have a chart here. So this chart helps us to identify and understand the value of each digit to its position in relation to its position. So here we have this number. This is three, four, five. Then this is the decimal point, then six, seven, eight. Now, from here, from the decimal point to your left, the decimal point to your right, okay? Because in a number, when we have a decimal point, that decimal point is a reference point. So when you go to your left, it, it tells you how the value of each of the numbers are. To your right, it also tells you how the value of each of the numbers are. Now, from your decimal point to your left, the first number immediately after the decimal point is the ones value. The ones is for, uh, has the weight of from between one to 10, all right? Now, the second number immediately after ones is tens. Your tens from your 10, 20, 30, 40 till uh, 100, all right? It stops at 99, all right? Then after 99, immediately it gets to your 100. Your 100 is when it gets to this particular point here. So when you have three numbers like this, the first one is the hundreds value. This one, the second one is a tens, while the one close to the decimal point is the ones. Are you with me? Is yes, everyone? Yes. Okay. Now, so here, immediately after your decimal point, this, the first digit here is the tenths. You can see this THS, all right? Your tenths. It is not your wants. No. It's your tenths. Immediately after the decimal point is the tenths, the first uh, digit. While the one next to it is the hundreds, and the one next is what? The thousands, all right? So that's why you see this. It says, consider the number this. We can determine the place value of each digit using the place value chart. Therefore, the value placed on each digit is for three, here it is 300. For four, which is the tenth value is 40. For once, that's this five, is five because it's just once. 
then for your six, it is 0 0.6, that's six tenths. Then for your seventh, is what seven hundredths at zero point zero seven, and for your eight is what eight thousandths. All right. So this is how you try to find the value of each digit in a number. Okay. Now, I want us to quickly do this. When you have one comma, four, three, six, comma, uh, five, seven, nine. All right? I want us to tell me the, okay, let me add this, dot, uh, two, uh eight seven okay now i want us now to tell me each number what is the place values of each number one just like the way i have done done like this i want everyone to write now in your book what is the place value of each number? When you do this, I want you to send a screenshot on the WhatsApp group, the page group. Okay? Are you with me, everyone? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, do this now.
yeah welcome everyone welcome so we have class work here Let's all try that classwork. Oh. Oh, darling, I just saw your message now. You didn't message me. You say you paid. You didn't uh, message me uh, to say that. Can you quickly message me on WhatsApp? I did. I even sent you the screenshot. When uh, I, I did it on WhatsApp, I send you the okay. Yeah, I would check, I would, I'm gonna check now. Okay, okay. okay. Are we finding it difficult? Has anyone finished yet? Okay, I'm sure we are we are done now. Let me see if anyone has dropped the answer yet. Okay, okay, good, good. Oh, Isa, can you try again? I see Kimberly. Good. That one is one million. Good, the four is 400,000. Good, the three there is 30,000. Good, the six is six. Yeah, 6,000. The five is 500, good. The seven, 70, good, nine, nine. Good, good, okay. Uh, good work, uh, Kimberly. I think well, I'm going to give another one. So, Isa, you you get you get how to do it. Okay, Isa, are you with me? Yes. Okay. All right. So here, so now you need to have this chart in mind. All right. Immediately after your decimal points, you have the ones, you have the tens, hundreds, thousands. After thousands is 10,000. After 10,000 is 100,000. Then in millions. Okay? So you can see here we have a comma here. We have a comma here. All right? So you place this decimal point to be here. Then the next will be 9. The next will be 7. The next will be 5. The next will be 6. This will be 3. This will be 4 and this will be one all right so you can see the one is under millions all right so when you bring this one out you're going to have one zero 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 okay so this will become one zero 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 which is what one million 
All right, you can see million has how many zeros? Six zeros. All right. Then for the four, you bring out the four, it will be under this first zero, and you make all other numbers zero. So it will be zero, 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 zero. So that will be zero, 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 zero. So you can see hundred thousands. So this is 400,000. Then here, this is three. The three would be under the second zero. So we have three, then you make everything here zero. So it should be zero, 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 zero. Do we see that? Isa, are you following? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is 30 what? Thousand, 10 of thousand. So 30,000. Now for this, we we'll stay under this third zero. So we have six, and it should be six, then zero, 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 three, zero. So we have zero, zero, zero. Okay, which is what six thousand. This is thousands. The hundreds, it should be our five. So this should be five, and we have two zeros left. All right. Then for tens, which is seven. So we have seven and we add one zero. That's 70. And finally, you have what? Nine. Okay. And you can see that when you add up all these numbers, it will give you this. Okay. Then from mm -hmm. the decimal point to your right, your first value is the tenth value. So I think that you you uh, you got all that, okay? So that would be 0.2, all right? Then this would be 0 0.08, then 0 0.007, all right? Okay, good job. So let me give you something else now. I want you to get the place value for this number. Let us look at this number. So we have two comma three one eight comma four five three point nine two. Isa, oh yeah, let's try this. Uh, darling, also try this too. Okay. So when you do put uh, drop a screenshot on the group. Okay.
Okay. <clears throat> no one has sent an answer yet. Okay, is that okay? Okay, is that good job, Kimberly? Are you there? Hello. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, you can send in your answer, darling. Okay. Also, you can send in your answer. Ah, uh, oh. Okay, we had someone here. Okay, good. So all I want is for each and everyone to know the value of each number. So the two here is two million. The three here is hundred thousands. The one is ten thousands. The eight here is just thousands. The four here is hundred. Five here is tens. And the three here is ones. Then you have decimal. Then immediately after the decimal, the nine here is your tens. And the two here is your hundreds okay okay good now we're quickly going to look at comparing numbers you know immediately after uh knowing your number place value the next thing to do is to compare your numbers know which is greater than which all right comparing from the least to the greatest okay okay so let's let's see this here so comparing and ordering numbers involves determining the relationships between different numerical values based on their magnitude it allows us to establish which numbers are greater than less than or equal to one another for example if you consider this number five eight and three to compare and order these numbers we can arrange them from the least to greatest from these numbers, which is the least? Definitely three is the least. Immediately after three is five, then eight. Okay, so three is less than five, and five is less than eight. You do see some, you know, simple questions like this in the GED non calculator section, asking which is greater than which. Okay, and sometimes you do see negative numbers. All right, so here we have similarly, we can compare and other negative numbers, decimals, and fractions. For instance, if we have the numbers 2, comma, negative 5, comma, negative 1, how do you compare? Which is greater? Can you tell me? This, this, this. Which is the less value? Can someone say? Minus 5. Minus five is the lesser value. After negative five, you have what? I think this this is a negative here. 
you have what a negative two then a negative one all right so this is how you order um negative values okay this the the, the smallest is always the the negative value with the bigger number that's the smallest okay and it goes here down to the greatest okay now let me give you these questions now if you have these numbers if we have these numbers the question says write these numbers from least to greatest okay you have two three number one you have two three 18 45 39 number two you have one four two nine one four two zero Okay, then on five, you are to arrange these numbers from the least to the greatest. Okay, let's do it now. Is everyone with me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So let's arrange from the least to the greatest.
you can send uh, your answers, okay? Okay. List. Good job for number one. Good job for number two. Good. Okay. I see you are finished. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Kimberly. Thanks. Have you sent it, Kimberly? Yes, I have. Um, I'll try again. Okay, good. Okay. Yes, good. Okay, so this is how you order numbers. Okay, as we go forward, you're going to see how also. Uh, let me give you one on, on negative signs. Let me quickly give you one on negative signs. So when you have. Uh, Number seven, you have negative, negative, five, eight, negative. Order this last one. Everyone order this. Darling, I'm not seeing your answers on the on the chat. Are you with us, darling? I'm here, but I'm just watching. I'm I I haven't done these things for a while. I'm kind of lost. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, I would I will quickly go back. Maybe because you didn't join the, the place value class. Okay. What's uh quickly Isa and uh Kimberly do this last final one, then I'll just recap a bit. Because this is the beginning okay. of basic class. So do this last one, send your answers. Let me see. Okay. Good. Isa? Yes. I just sent. Good. Good. So that's negative. Okay. So this is the list. Followed by this, followed by this, followed by this and this. Okay, good job. Good job, everyone. So for darling, quickly, let me quickly just go through the number place value. Sorry. All right. 
Darling, are you with me? Yes. Okay, so the first part in basic maths, your beginning of the basic maths is knowing the magnitude of a number, of a digit within a number. So we have we got this example. This is three four five dot decimal point six seven eight. So we need to know the magnitude, the value. That's the weight of each number. What is the weight of three? What is the weight of four? What is the weight of five? What is five? What is four? What is three? And what is this six seven eight after the decimal point? Before the decimal point, what is the weight? You should know that the weight is always greater before the decimal point, but after the decimal point, it reduces, okay? And reduces more and more, okay? So before the decimal point, the first number immediately before the decimal point has a value of once, and once is between one to 10, all right? Are you with me? Yes. Then the next number after this once is called tens. And oh. tens is between 10 to 100 or let's say 99. Okay? So this one is from 1 to 9. Let's just leave it at 9. Okay? So this is from 10 to 99. All right, these are your tens. So your 20, your 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, they are your tens. Then immediately after your tens, you have the hundreds. Your hundreds is from 100 to 999. Okay? So okay. is from 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, then 900. Okay, 100. Then for your thousands, your thousands is from 1,000, okay, to what? 9,099, okay? Are you with me? So yes. here you have, in your thousands, you have your 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7, 8, and 9,000, okay? And your 10,000 is from your 10,000, all right? You can see these four zeros to what? To your 999,999, okay? So that's for your 10,000, all right? So any digit that falls here is, is in the 10,000 value. The value, the weight is tens of thousands. Any digit that falls here, the value, the weight is hundreds of thousands. Any digit that falls here, the value, the weight is millions. Okay, that's how we say it's millions. So it is more, it's much. So I gave the classwork one, comma, four, three, six. I think uh, I did five, seven, nine. Then dots, I think two, seven, three. And I said, I want them to tell me the value, the weight of each number here. Okay. So the first thing you do, for, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Immediately after your decimal point, it's, it's called tenths. And the value is 0 0.6. Can you see this here? Six tenths. This guy here is called hundreds, and the value is 0 0.07. You know, I told you that immediately after the decimal point, the numbers here tend to reduce, okay? While eight here, the value of eight is what? Eight thousandths, this TH, and which is what? 0 0.008, okay? So... In placing, so it is for you to have a mental map of this place value chart. All right, having a mental map where your decimal starts, just 
yes. mark where the decimal point is. For this number, this is our decimal point. So immediately after the decimal point, what do you have? You have nine, right? Are you with me, darling? Yes. Are you following? Yes. Okay. So where do you think one will fall? Quickly, where do you think one will fall? Here. 10,000? 10, 10, Check well. Oh, I see 1,000. Look here, look here. Okay. Okay, sit down. I'm sorry, I want to have my baby girl with me. All right. So here we have nine. Here we have seven, would be here. Here we have five hundred. Here six would be here under thousands. Your three would be under ten thousand. Your four would be under hundred thousand. And your and one. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry, you can continue. Yes. Under one million. Okay. So that's where one would be. Under one million. Don't worry, uh darling. Um, this this video is recorded, so I will share the link and you can rewatch the video, okay? Maybe when you are less busy. Is that okay? Hello? Well, I'm here. Do you get what I said just now? Then she, she moved her mic. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, just anyway, for everyone. So this is 1 million. And from here, from the dots to this side, we have your two would be here. The seven would be here. Your three would be here. So this would be tens, hundreds, and thousands. Okay? So let's quickly look at this. I want us to three, three, uh, at least three topics today in our maths. Then uh, next class, we'll do some revisions on it. Now let's look at whole number operations. I hope we remember our simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Do we remember? Yes, I do. Do we remember? Yes, ma'am. You... Okay, good. So mm -hmm. I would quickly give you something to do, some things to do now. Quickly add this, everyone. I want to know if I should still explain this topic or just move forward. So everyone quickly add this. Let me see your answers. No using your calculator, please. Don't use your calculator. Quickly add this, everyone. And let's see your answers. Um, you can put them in the chat box. Do you have a question? No, no, no. I'm doing the math. Okay. Okay, good. Good one, Kimberly. Good one, Isa. Okay, good. 
So we do the addition six plus two, it gives us eight, eight plus nine, that is a 17. So we drop down a seven, we take a one here, a one plus three is a four, and a four plus six is a 10, and we drop a zero and we carry a one, and one plus two, three, and three plus one is a four. Good, good job. Okay, good one. Now, quickly do this subtraction. Let me see. Two o five minus six seven. Mm -hmm. Let's see this. Subtract this. Let's see. Okay, good, yes, nice. Okay, so it means, okay, you fully grasp, you fully understand your subtraction. So from here for, um, I see who else hasn't dropped an answer yet. Mm. Christiana hasn't dropped an answer. Okay, Darling hasn't dropped an answer. What was your answer, Christiana? I had like, you? I had, um, I had two something. Is it for the subtraction? Yes. Two something. Okay, let's check this together. All right, so to subtract this, we know that we cannot take away seven from five. Why? Because five is smaller. Seven is greater than five. So we can't take away seven from five. So we have to borrow. All right. We come here okay. to this number. It's zero. It's empty. We can't borrow anything. So we need to come to this number. All right. And which is two. So we can borrow a one. And that one is a 10. So when we borrow a one from two, this becomes two becomes a one. This one adds to the zero, so it becomes a 10. A 10 plus a zero becomes a 10, all right? So now, since this guy now is 10, we can now borrow from this 10 so that this becomes what, 15. That one we borrow is a 10, and 10 plus five is 15. So as we borrow one from 10, this becomes a nine. Do you see that? It reduces to a nine, then, here now, we now have 15, and 15 minus 7 is what? 8. Here now, we have left 9, and 9, uh, take away 6, 
is what three and finally we just have one here there's nothing down here it's like a zero here and one take away zero is one so the answer here is 138 do you remember now yes ah do you remember yes okay good okay so let me see, let me give you some more to do. If we, quickly do this subtraction, four, four, seven, eight, nine minus, three eight nine zero quickly do the subtraction are you all with me yes okay yes Any answers yet? None yet. Okay. Okay. Isa, I'm waiting for you. Okay, let's do this together. So uh, you have uh, Christiana, what's your answer? Uh, what's your answer, Christiana? Welcome, Ruth. Although you're a bit late, but welcome. Thank you. Okay, I see you. I answer is that. Well, let us do it again. One minute.
Yes, you coming back? Am I the only one here? Hello? That's it. Let me see. And it's trying to escape into the tunnels beneath the country bed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay? Mommy, yes. can I have a surprise? Wait, I give you the surprise. Baby, I'm not actually going to pay any. Baby, I'm not going to pay any. Oh, my goodness. Baby, I'm not going to pay any. Baby, I'm not going to pay any. Oh, it works. I want you to do this. It sounds like someone's making it. Mama, pick up the rubber bands, baby, on the floor. Pick them up. Yeah. yeah, give me the, the rubber band. And the hair. Rubber bands and hair. Pick them up. You make my top hat tallest. It's the greatest, tallest hat ever. Make something a stumble this immediately. Ha! If you can have a statue of a chicken, I can have a humdinger doozy carving of the world's greatest mayor. Me. <laughs> Golly, my a lot of stone carved out of that. Rubble's right. That hill is stable. Ridiculous. Wait a minute. Why are my statue ears pointed like kitten ears? Never mind. I'll finish it myself. Never ask a kitten to do a mayor's job. Maybe the me too. I'm calling for my Marshall, Chase, Zuma, Rocky. We need help. Perhaps your ears are perfect like mine. Done. Okay. Oh, that car. Now, no one will see it but fish. Fun fact time. Marshall's dog breed is with the nations, and Chase's dog breed is a German Shepherd. Hey, Patroller, here we come. Sail this super ship away. As soon as I find the start, make sure that Robo Rover stays locked below. Which one of these buttons? Yep, yep. Are you fighting the same controller? Not yet. 
tighter. Oh no! I lost muscle. Oh no! Let me try to reach him. Why are you calling muscle? Where are you? Are you there? No answer. Maybe he can't hear his pup tag. Huh? Your chest. I look good. Thank you, Mama. Yes. Here's the plan. You hide behind that barrel. Then I'll go get sent away from the branch as when you sneak up there and take the controls. Spotted Bob, what are you doing? What are your channels? Controller, now to get back on Guys, Rocky and Zuma are lost. Can you help us find them? Here we go with another pup tastic rescue. Yeah. Up on the zigzag trail, pups. You know what Terra does? Run away with Chickalotta. Oh, and they're good ways hanging from a tree limb. We need to get the mirror down. So for this mission, I'll need the sky. It could be I'm also going to need Team vehicle, the Paw Patroller, has eight wheels. That's a lot of wheels. Ready or not? Here I come. Oh, I see you. Hmm. Nobody here. You pups are pretty good hiders. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Garvey. Okay. You'll get supper in a sec. <laughs> uh oh, oh corn's easy pickings for those hungry birds. Get them back home. Called their buddies. Oh, so I better call the Paw Patrol. Oh, no. Oh, I lost another car. Oh, just in time to chase away that Paw Patrol. Now I can patch that silo roof before we put it back on. Chase, use your megaphone to give a shout out to those birds. 